This channel supports St. Jude's Research Hospital for Children and is a part of their Play Live Charity Drive. For more information on how to join as well as how to donate, please head to the description and click the link at the top of it. Remember, any and all support is appreciated, so feel free to give and support in any way you can. Thank you for your participation. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Megas, back with another Old Gamer rant, and it's summertime, people. We're officially in the su uh, summertime, um, as of 10 days ago from this recording. Um, and this is when us as gamers start doing the most bitching that we ever do during the year, because, hey, it's summer. Releases are slow. It's nothing to play, right? Um... This video basically is just about um, reshaping the mentality that we have because I've always been someone to say that it's not that there's nothing to play, it's just that there's nothing that you're interested in playing. Um, and it just didn't used to be that. Back in the day, again, this goes back to some childhood stuff, so it makes more sense that it was like that back then, whereas now, as adults, where we control what we consume, how much we consume, um, things are a little different, but, you know, back when you were younger, there was no such thing as there's nothing to play. There was always a game out there that you could pick up the box and look at and say, this might be interesting. Let me try this out. I repeat, you went, let me try this out, meaning that you were willing to give a game a shot, regardless of what level of production it was um the triple a mentality wasn't there whereas the triple a mentality kind of dominates um gamers choices now a lot of gamers don't want to play anything that's not triple a let's be honest um you know the mid tier and the lower games not independent but necessarily but the lower tier like the companies that you didn't really hear about the projects that you didn't really hear about you know, companies like Activision, Acclaim, Konami, you know, the most well-known producers back then, they had games that went on all levels. You know, you have the AAA stuff. You have the uh, mid-tier. You had the lower quick fixes. Um, and as gamers, we were all willing to try them because we just like to play games and we were looking for something to play. So, hey, we'll give you a shot. Or, because you didn't have your own money, you didn't control um, when you can get stuff, there was always a backlog that you can go to. There was always some big game that you really, really wanted that you missed out on because your parents didn't want to get it for you at the time. That maybe during the summer or during the slow period, it's at a cheaper price or it's just like you were able to collect enough um, allowance to finally pick that game up you know whatever reason you didn't always get everything on release because again you didn't control your buying power when it came to gaming um so in that sense there was always something to buy um or to play so that mentality of there's nothing to play kind of didn't exist back in the day but as we the consoles grew as production values got higher, as more people started to get access and gaming became more mainstream, things changed. Um, AAA became the more dominant format. Um, and, you know, I always kind of say, like, this kind of mentality would seem to be more born of the later years of the PS2, um, the Xbox, the original Xbox era, maybe, or definitely the 360 and PS3 era where AAA just became everything um, and everything was measured by AAA um, so now as long as the AAA titles aren't dropping there's nothing to play uh, you'll get a AAA game here and there during the summer maybe one or two but you don't really get that many so it's dry out here as people like to say um, nobody wants to play these indie games. Nobody wants to play the mid-tier games or the smaller companies that like can release a game within this window. Of course, the you know double A and one A production has pretty much disappeared anyway. 
um, you don't necessarily get the bigger companies working on smaller things. It's rare to see that. Um, so it, it's either indies or AAA, it seems, and people have an aversion to AAA. Um, people tend to ignore the fact that, hey, you may not have bought all the games that there were that you may have been interested in. You can actually go back and play those. Um, you know, especially if you're a YouTuber. If you're a YouTuber, you're more concerned about what's current or what's hot or what's popular, what can drive your channel, what motivates your subscribers to view your content, what, you know, so on and so forth. So, for you, it's kind of hard to break out of that mentality. But for you non YouTubers, I find it funny that you just can't leave that alone. Um, I wish things were back the way they were. You know, hey, this is, again, this is the old man rant. Of course I do. Because I feel like gamers were more willing to take chances and to play a lot of things and we're more had a more diverse mentality and I think we need to rescope our mentality back to that because we kinda disallow ourselves a lot of opportunities on some good experiences and just the, of having a more positive outlook on gaming period by closing off our um, you know view of what qualifies as something to play you know, maybe if we can reshape that mentality we wouldn't bitch and moan so much but hey you know I tend to do videos like these quite often and rarely does anything change but hey I'm just a small time guy so you know I I will try to do my best to shake up the world with what I can uh, <laughs> what I can do um, you know who knows maybe eventually one day people will start to go back to that there's a lot of people who have that mentality and i really appreciate that but we need more gamers to get back to that old school mentality towards gaming i think um it, things would be a lot better and healthier in the community if it did so but anyway as always you guys feel free to hit me up let me know what you think and i'll holler at you later this is your boy black makers and i'm out deuces